let us discuss an important concept directly related to Bernoulli's theorem that is the pressure velocity trade off. For this we can write that uh, for a fluid flowing at a horizontal level according to Bernoulli's theorem We use pressure plus half rho v square as a constant at all points because in a horizontal level there is no difference in gravitational potential energy per unit volume. So, we can always take up the sum of pressure energy and kinetic energy per unit volume remains constant. That means at any point if the velocity of fluid increases, it has to sacrifice for the pressure value at that point as their sum is a constant. And if at a point if pressure is increased automatically, the flow velocity will decrease. This phenomena is called pressure velocity trade off because pressure as well as velocity both has to trade off at any point in the flowing fluid. And based on this, there are many applications we are going to see. Like you can see there is a picture of an aerofoil, there is an airplane wing which is moving in forward directions with a velocity vp and due to the shape and motion of this wing we can say the streamlines will become denser in the upward zone or you can say the flow velocity of air relative to plane will be more at a point above the wing compared to a point which is below the wing. So, if we consider there is a point A and another point B, A is below the airplane wing and B is above the airplane wing. Here we can state directly that velocity at point A is less than velocity at point B. So, in this situation, if at point A velocity is less according to the concept of pressure velocity trade off which we have discussed, here we can state pressure at point A will be more than pressure at point B. If at point A pressure is more than that at B, then due to this pressure difference, this airplane will experience an upward lift force due to this pressure difference and this force will balance the whole weight of the airplane and such wings are on both the sides of uh, aeroplane. So, total lift force on both the wings uh, has to balance the weight of aeroplane. This is the concept how aeroplane flies. And here we have just considered that uh, the points A and B are very close to each other and almost at the same level from uh, the ground and respective heights of both of these points we consider to be equal as the figure we have drawn is quite a magnified one. Similarly, we can discuss one more application for this pressure velocity trade off here. Here you can see this is an atomizer using which uh, we can uh, spray any liquid filled in it. Say a liquid is filled in it and from this balloon if we push it and release it, then what happens the air which is just above the nozzle of this tube connected with the balloon, it will move in forward direction and as the air starts blowing the pressure at this point, say this point is x and here there is a point y, we can simply state the air particles which are at point y are at rest and those particles which are at point x just above this vertical tube which is dipped in the liquid will start moving. So, we can say pressure at point x in this situation, here pressure at point x in this situation can be taken as lesser than pressure at point y and if pressure at point y is more, we can directly state that the liquid will be pushed in downward direction and it will start moving in upward direction. And from the topmost point, uh, due to the continuous flow of air particles, as the liquid is reaching the top, it will split into small number of particles, or the tiny droplets of the liquid uh, will move away, or these are blown away. So, this is the way how liquid jets or sprays are developed. And uh, this is the concept which is based on again the pressure velocity trade off, because just at this point, as well as a point which is below the nozzle, you can simply state uh, the pressure differences developed due to which uh, the concept of uh, atomizer can be understood.
similar to these applications another example can be seen if uh, through a vertical tube air is blown in upward direction and a plastic ball is kept uh, in the air blow then uh, it will kept on floating in a stable equilibrium because uh, say if the ball is floating and it is pushed toward right then we can simply state uh, more streamlines will pass uh, from the region which is left of the ball and uh, the flow velocity of air in the left side will increase and on right side it will be less or the air which is outside the blow is almost at rest so in the region of no flow pressure is high and the region where more air is passing the pressure will be low so if pressure is high in this region low in this region the ball will be pushed back by the atmospheric pressure similarly if the ball is is pushed towards left this will be the region of no flow and on the right side most of the air particles will be moving so pressure will be decreased here and it will be more in this direction so again atmospheric pressure will push the ball in this direction so we can say if uh, a lightweight ball is kept floating above uh, continuously blowing air nozzle then it will be maintaining its uh, floating position and stable equilibrium even if it is slightly displaced it will have a tendency to automatically maintain its position this again because of pressure velocity trade off or the concept of bernoulli's theorem by which we can explain the phenomena